what I have here is my very first AR500 target. It is a Magnum target, 7 by 12. The measurements here state 7 inches by 12 inches. Twelve inches high. There you go. The face is about two and a quarter, a little over two and a quarter inches wide. About two and a half inches tall. The center hole for the carriage bolt is five eighth inches wide. The both circles, they're about, I would say, a little larger than three quarter inch. Off the edge, they are about three eighths inches off this edge, about half an inch off this edge. The center to center on the bolts or where you can hang them is four inches, four and three quarter inches. The center carriage bolt from the left mounting hole is two and seven sixteenths. The manufacturer states for pistol use no closer than 15 yards for rifle use no closer than 100 yards. Measured it is half inch thick. Some reviews said that they think it's three-eighths and some say it's shy of half inch but I measured it it, it is half inch thick. First up will be the Glock 19. a good beating about four or five magazines of nine millimeter full metal jacket freedom munitions and PMC it did a number also on my stands feet here some little pieces of jacket the, the ground is beat up but let me turn it sideways here for the shadow See if we can get some. All right, there's no no cratering, as the shadow indicates there, right there. I don't see any cratering or dimples. Nice. Next up is my four to five. I have about 15 rounds of Perfecto left and one old box of golden saber plus p ammunition so we'll try this out next Okay, my target was shifting on this rickety thing I rigged up, but it apparently is not too good. It keeps moving on me. Imagine doing 200 yard shots with a rifle and I gotta run back and fix it. No. So I just put it on the little hook backup I have here and it appears to be holding better and more reaction. Uh, we'll see how it holds out with the rifle, the 223 and 308. 
maybe it'll fall I don't know we'll see but given the shadow here I don't see any deformation or craters it's just all the paint that's coming off it looks pretty smooth as paint there this was the sticker there it looks like it's doing pretty good with the pistol ammo First up at 300 yards is the 223. The rifle is a Savage 10 FP. 300 yards with the 223, 200 yards, and 100 yards. Um, out of distance 300, it was hitting to the right apparently because these ones I could see these hits at 100. And I had my aiming point here, it was hitting to the right, so I brought it left a little, brought it back in line. So that's why at 300 and 200, they were hitting way off to the right. So, but I did get some hits. These hits that are in the middle here, especially here where the, what do you think of a break being thin here, it did okay. Nothing, it's that's pink there, but this one here, this little guy, yeah, you hit the edge, it'll take a little crater out of it, a little divot. So I'll file that down when I get home so there's no cuts to me. Mm, 100 yards, there's no, there's no um, craters or anything, so it's doing pretty good. Half inch. AR-500. Next up will be 308. Next up is the 308. I'll be using that Remington 700 with the US Optics ST-10. Three hundred yards. Four minutes up. Three to five mile per hour. Three to nine o'clock wind. Half minute, right? Yeah. Glad it's staying on the hook. Andy. Ah, oh, I just jinxed myself. Now I gotta go over there and pick it up. Next, 200. 200 yards, 308. 70. Almost knocked it over. Glad I didn't. Last one. AR 500, half inch thick, seven by 12 target. It did pretty well. I like it. It did well with the pistol. It did well with the 223 from 300, 200, and 100. The 308 did well at 300 and 200. 100, I wouldn't use it at 100 with a 308. These are match rounds and Winchester PowerPoint 150 grain soft points soft point rounds and i want to call it a crater more of like a dent but ever so slightly you can see it on the camera there the difference between these dents and these marks right here these are just marks these ones are dents so 200 yards it's a large target for a 200 yard scoped rifle I would 
keep it at 200 yards and pistol 15 yards was the recommended and it did well with the pistol so a retouch up of paint and I'll be good to go again but all in all I like it I like this target it's pretty good different day same nine millimeter ammo No visible pitting, nothing. This is just the paint coming off and discoloration. Nothing that's notable with nine millimeter rounds at 15 yards, the recommended distance. I'll be trying my Remington 700 in 308 with the ST10, 10 fixed. The rounds I'll be using will be um, one a day, match rounds, 178 grain boat tail hollow point. Two hundred yards with the three oh eight Winchester. I was using Hornaday. 178 grain boat tail hollow point match rounds. The muzzle velocity stayed on the box is 2600 feet per second. There's no pitting at all. It just hit and there's no no dimple, no pitting, no cratering, nothing. Four to five ACP Remington Golden Saber plus P ammunition. Uh, no pitting, no pitting, no cratering, nothing. Just the paint coming off, and my my bolt was holding up this time. I'm glad, but everything looks good so far at the recommended distances. some new paint. I don't want to get too close and just let it start 
dribbling down. And it's windy too, so not applying very well. As long as you can see new hits. If you're wondering if I still have this from Lurcy's 3, yeah, I still have it and it works great. Still works great. Still awesome. And I just added a few features there, you know, close, half, and all the way open. And it's still smooth as ever.